How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Just getting it so that uh, we can see comments. Good morning, Mr. Zwan. How's it going? It is. Uh, <laughs> It is cold, man. It is cold. South Africa, specifically Lanceria, where I'm at, yeah, it doesn't get this cold. It is, the official term is, uh, well, lion cold, yeah. It's only head in Maine, man. That's it, yeah. So uh, we're on the lathe again, all right, um, and uh, today we need to do... Well, let me get my pointy stick, yeah? So, today we are doing the blade. Happiness? Okay. So, before I do anything else, I need to just uh, hit record there. Okay, so, we're going to do the blade, yeah? Uh, so, we start on this side and end on that side, which is the tippy tip, yeah? But uh, what we're also going to be doing is we're going to start on the tippy tip. Sounds stupid, I know. But uh, bear with me, man. I've never even pretended to know what the hell I'm on about. So we're going to start in the end. Got a piece of Damascus. Yeah, there we go. And I've already faced both sides. So uh, I can't remember which side is what, which. So we're going to tell you. We're going to say that's going to be the tip. So the tip part I want to do first. Morning. Sean, you are jumping around like a headless chicken. What's up? Buddy? Morning, you're on yellow. You say start the forge. No, forget the forge, man. Forget the forge. All right. So uh, I'm just it's like almost two inches overhang here. So more like one or three quarters. So about a 30 mil overhang. Yeah. And all I want to do is I want to get the tip part turned down ever so slightly. So we're going to start with that. Yeah. So all I want to do is I just want to clean up. Just the tip part. So obviously that's the part I need to go into uh, the chuck. Yeah. It is turning her down. Can you tell I've got a new tip on there? Oh, hello, beautiful. How's it going, brother? <laughs> it is freaking cold today, man. I mean, it started raining, yeah? which is, uh, well, stupid. Raining in winter in South Africa. I'm sorry, Wes. Good morning, gentlemen. Got my coffee and smoke. Excellent, man. As long as you're geared up, brother, that's uh, all good. Yeah, so that should be fine. I might want to go a tad thinner on there. I'm not 100% sure yet. Yeah, uh, let's rather not. Let's rather not turn this up back out. We tight it up. This axis of the lay. So that one there. Um, while we were doing burner parts. Yeah. So that is now coming back to haunt me. So we're going to flip the soak around. And we're going to tighten her up. Yeah, just nip it, turn it, nip and turn. You can see I've got my life center in on this side already. And I do want to lock this thing up on three jaws. Done. Okay, because she's going to be in there for a while. Now I'm making sure that my tail stock is actually locked down. And then I'm going to turn it. So the mic is in the way, but don't worry. I've done this before. Trust me, I'm a bladesmith. Yeah, you should not. 
Someone has to tell you to trust them. You definitely don't want to do that. Good yeah. morning, Trevor Foster. How's it going, buddy? Raining here in Aussie. Excellent, man. But I tell you what, I was sitting outside this morning at about half past six, only with a T-shirt on, yeah? No issues. And the next minute, the temperature started dropping. And my wife comes up and she reckons, it's going to rain today, possible uh, snow as well. So you will see the country go to an absolute standstill, yeah? Because normally if it rains, people can't drive. So now with the rain and the cold, well, the roads are going to be iced, yeah? That's going to be freaking madness. I promise you that, yeah? Okay, so long story short, let me stop talking crap. Lock this up. Uh, that's locked up. That's locked up. Should key is out of the chuck. And oh, I can start turning. Yeah, let me give my lighty light down there. Oh, I maybe should have released the tension ever so slightly. So we're just going to clean up. Oh, a bit more than that. So this is Damascus. It has been annealed. So when I made the twist bar, I did a rough cut on it. As you can see, I cleaned it up. And, uh, well, it's been uh, annealed completely. Well, I hope so. That first part turned beautifully. So the back here, we are just cleaning and I just want to go far enough so that I don't turn my tool into the head. And we're going to come back. Yeah. So that's just an arbitrary thickness. Arbitrary thickness. And like I mentioned the first three episodes, if you are a machinist, you should probably not be watching this. Yeah, just because I own the machine doesn't mean I actually know what the hell I'm doing. And this machine doesn't have an auto feed. So the dodgy turning you see is all me, man. It's just sketchy. Yeah? The auto feed's name is Nils. Yeah. So I'm trying to see, read comments there. Don't bring the comments up, please. Good morning, Sean. How's it going, brother? Okay, so uh, that should be it. Let's have a look at that. Matt, how's it going, buddy? It's 4.30 here in the USA, and I should be in bed. But you do... What the hell are you still sleeping? Or well, not, not sleeping at 4 30 a.m. Yeah. All right, so I'm just checking size there, and we look like we're on 10, 11, 13 point something. So I'm gonna bring in the handle. So remember that that flange we left on the handle. Yeah. I want to get close to that side. It doesn't have to match it exactly. But I want to do want to get close to that. Yep. Okay. I like that. Um, so obviously this piece, the bronze handle, I need to turn that smaller because if you have a look at the the quillen we did, yeah, and we kind of do that. Can you see? So the thicknesses are almost exactly the same. So I do want to make this a tad thinner, but I'm thinking about leaving it that and uh, making a a a hexagon in there and then goes into the flats and then a hexagon out here yeah that's why it doesn't need to be exactly the same thickness but i'm pretty sure my ocd will kick in and then i will end up making them exactly the same if you're running on the automatic yeah man all right so now i am just judging an arbitrary thickness thing yeah which should pretty much be the same thickness as that little flange that we have there but i want to cut it a tad thicker 
which gives me space to just flatten off that end when I'm done with the slot. Yeah. So uh, we're just going to guesstimate the man. There we go. Use the old icrometer. So we're going to come in to, to about there because if I have a look at my sketch, I need to start off. Where the hell is my sketch? Oh, here we go. It's been an early day, man. So I'm going to start off with a half round. Hey, here's a comment on your machine. Uh, oh, ha, ha. I'm the same. Buy things I don't know how to use and usually destroy. Uh, a there's of... a lot of things in the process. Yeah, man. It's the only way to learn, right? The cipher mm -hmm. map, go to a class. Okay, so we need to do a half round in there. I'm going to judge it about, yeah, about there. Oh, she's not happy. Not happy with that at all. So let me just loosen this. Lower ever so slightly, lock it up again. See what she does now, what she think of me cutting now. Not happy with me at all. So I need to make sure that that end is properly annealed. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to drill and tap. Yeah. <laughs> so we loosen this lot up. Stick that to this side. Nice and close. That rain's coming down now. Yeah. Not in the tent. Okay. So we've got that up. Then we are taking this thing out of the way. I might have chipped that tip, though. Well, we'll okay. loosen that at one point or at some point. Okay. I should have really loosened up that cut. Yeah, man. Okay, so I'm bringing this out. I don't want to move that into the chuck. Um, I do need to now loosen that in there. Get that life center out. Oh, preparation. You gotta love it, right? And then we want a 4.8 millimeter drill bit. And we'll loosen that up. Get that close in. Uh, yeah. If you're boom, they can slow your speed down a bit because that's why you're getting the blue chips and stuff in your. Yeah, dude, I can't. This is a one speed machine, right? <laughs> On other lathes, you might be able to do that. On this one, yeah, no. So the way I need to, for me to slow this down would be to uh, go and change belts. And that I definitely don't want to do at this point in time. So we're guesstimating the depth here. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's sufficient. That's good. thing out of the way take that oh god so my drill's been done my drilling's done and that wasn't too bad so it might be a case of that but just not wanting to play with so we've got my tap set in and i just slapped her in there we're just gonna look it up there sean would you mind leaving that and giving me a tapping fluid please and i'm also gonna start stripping yeah so uh, layering is an important thing. Yeah, I'm getting hot now. Yeah, I know I am hot, but yeah, it's the beard. I know, man. It confuses the chicks. <sighs> Let me stop talking crap. Continue working. All right. So uh, Sean just got me some some uh, tap matic tapping fluid, and we just want to dab on there. Thanks, brother. You can put that away again. All right. We're not going to switch the machine on, obviously, because I'm not stupid. So I've got just got my hand at the tailstock, as you can see there. And, uh, well, now we turn. And we, we tap. Yeah, it's fun and games, this. Oh, brilliant. And then she starts tightening up.
Oh, this is fun. Not. Holy crap. Okay, so now we've got Hattie here going. I've got no idea what I'm looking at. What are you glaring at, dude? It's like you're a cat watching a little mouse there. I'll throw some dollar balls at you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother. Because <laughs> now, there we go. So she's locked up. Now she's loosened that in the tailstock, so I can actually pull the tailstock up. Yeah. And uh, then go and manually. Let me just move this out of the way as well. Not hit the mic. And there we go. Now we can unwind that. And we've got one hole tapped. Yeah, whether it's deep enough, I don't know. Take a look at that now. No, it's definitely not deep enough. So I'll put that back in. Yeah. Sean, are you getting, mind getting me the tap on, please? Not the big one. Small one. Yeah. Because my big tap arm is, uh, it's going to knock. Yeah. <whistles> Otherwise, we always just power through. And there's a, a reason I've got the tap on this chuck. So it gives you a bit more of a grip going in. Yeah. Okay, it looks like it's, it feels like it's bottoming out. Okay, so in the drawer there, you'll see there's an M6 tap with a flat bottom. Sorry, I'm just asking Sean to go and have a look at the tool drawer. Is it there? Would you yes. mind putting it in the tap handle? Yeah, the mid size one is good, not the small one. Thank you. Nice. That's done. There we go. I just want to get my air out here. All right. Clean that up. Little hose. Back in. Thank you. So now this is just a flat bottom tap. Yeah. It's a tap. Took me ages to make that. Yeah, took it to the grinder and just flattened it out. Yeah. <coughs> and this is a slightly better quality tap than the previous one. Sean, do you reckon it's a, it's a cheap smoke? It's fault. a what? The cheap cigarettes fault that you only run out of breath. <laughs> it's not your health. <laughs> Dude, I've been smoking for, what's it, 34 years. Somehow, I don't think it's the cheap cigarettes fault. Yeah. And I am as fit as a fiddle. Broken fiddle, but... No, no, no. Have you ever seen a fucking fiddle running around? No. So that's why that, that saying is so, uh, so good. Fit as a fiddle. <coughs> I don't run for squat, man. So we need to look up the air again. It's on a little retractable hose, yeah? Brilliant for cleaning up the machine and getting that stuff all over your laptop. Yeah? Don't do that. Okay. Am I off camera? Yes, I am. Sean is playing on his cell phone. Don't do that. You're supposed to be paying attention as I am not paying attention. At least one of us has to pay attention. All right, so now we pull that up. We can lock this up again. It's like a half ass Titan there. Uh, I don't need my life sensor back in. We'll put it up there. Damn, that hurt. Don't go slap your machine. Yeah, unless that's something you do. 
one of your deals. Yeah, if it's, it's your thing, it is your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and I know I don't have to tighten all three the locks, but uh, rather be safe than sorry. Robin, we're going to add a bit of tension in here, not too much so that we screw up the thread. Robert, please don't break your tap. Yeah, tap's done. Well, we haven't broken a tap in quite some time. Uh, because I stick to six and eight mil, yeah? M6 and M8. <coughs> Sean, I think we need, to, we need to chase or change that tip, man. I can't see squat, but I do. It does feel like I've broken the thing already. Okay, let's see how far I can get without screwing up any further. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, she's not happy at all. Not happy at all. But it's the square one. No. Sean always grabs the wrong box. Always. Always. Why? Because he has a 50-50 chance of getting the right one, I think. <coughs> no, don't give me the tool. There we go. Thank you. All right, so there's our new little tip. And obviously, I'm going to be dropping that thing here. Yeah. Oh, crap. I hate this thing. Give me the air. Never mind. I will do it. Leave the comments and please Michael, put the air back on. in. Thank you. Because that thing is going to in my ear the entire time i'm just gonna lose my shit all right so as you can see in a really expensive tool we have there yeah okay so let's see There we go. Thank you. Don't click there. I'm going through a hardware and uh, it was a false click. All right. But anyway, is Mike good now? Happiness? <laughs> sign language will have to do. Yes. Only All right. one sign. I only know one sign though. <laughs> All right. Oh, actually two. It's peace. Well, three. 
That one and then the, the one finger one. Yeah. So pick one. All right. Uh, but anyway, so we've got that cut in. Now I need my burn, yeah? Because we now seriously need to get a bit of a move on this. Um, I you, want Rob. to uh, cut it's half of that, half of that. So I'm going to second slot. Yeah, I just want to measure on that there. Is that going to be sufficient? No, we'll make it a bit broader, I think. All right. So we've got that. I'm just going to add in a uh, little line. Do that. Pull this oak up and we're going to stick it in there, yeah? And if you want to get that one a bit deeper in there as well. So I'm just doing an arbitrary deck in there. Then I want to go down to my third little cut. Is it up to you? Is that what it's up to you? Yep. So from that center, 32 millimeters down. That's where the first cut sits. First cut, sorry, I'm just checking to see what I've got on the third cut. Where am I going with this? I am uh, doing that third cut about there. Yeah. From that cut upwards, I can thin down. So this section, that, that taper in the actual blade is what takes the longest, yeah? Trying to get rid of all of that material. So we're not going to try to do that now. I just want to get a bit of material out here. Because I do want to get to a uh, semi-final blade thickness. And I'm just logging away at material at the moment. So there's no real plan. Because we do know... Oh, maybe... Yeah, this is now my OCD kicking in. Let me just cut that through. If you do know that that piece there needs to be a hell of a lot thinner. And I shouldn't have put it that deep in to the chuck because now I can't get to that tip so we might have to uh, adjust it again yeah proper planning and all of that crap I should have actually damn it that's going to come back and bite me in the ass that is so I'm going to have to move that let me do that now because that's going to end up as a heavy cut. Move that out ever so slightly. Yeah, about there. Can I get my tool in there? Yeah, now we can do it safely without screwing up too much. What's it, Squinty Bob? Okay. Mission 
Collega, if there is no safety glass, at least put some safety cigarettes on. Excellent, man. Brother, you will be the uh, safety, uh, the social media safety security officer for the next odd five minutes, yeah? So we're going to leave her about there. Now I know for a fact that that front piece, I do want that a tad thinner. Just ever so slightly. And I want the back end. of this cut so the top end of my taper is start at around about the same thickness as that yeah. which at this stage if I'm just gauging it by eye is still way too thick So I think what we need to do at this point is get that out of the way and go in there with uh, a half round file just to set that half round. That's all I want to do is just set that half round in there. And this blunt your files if you didn't uh, if you don't think about it, yeah. This really will blunt your files extremely quickly. So maybe and uh, actually pull this out and get that dodgy cutter I made. Give that a go on this because I've never actually used that on uh, on Damascus before. Yeah, so let's try that. Let us try that. I mean, it can only fail spectacularly, yeah. not happy at all but she is cutting not happily but she is cutting So yes, I do realize that I'll get less chatter if it's closer to uh, to the head. Oh, that's just killing me, man. Look at all the hair. Okay, so we've got that down to a 1.8. I just want to check this side if I'm down to a 1.8 on this side as well. One point eight on there, and now this is where it gets dodgy. Yeah.
<laughs> that will give you hairs on your chest. Crap, that's freaking nerve wracking, that is. Okay, so maybe using that is not the best idea. Yeah, so we're going to take that out. So that is just chattering way, way, way too much. Obviously, I need to learn how to sharpen those guys. Yeah. All right, so we'll put this one back in. Lock her up and then go back to the drawing and say, okay, what do I need to do? I will need to just clean that up with a file. Yeah. So uh, get a whole file back in there. I think what I'll do is we get to this part here, I'll chuck it up closer to the lathe. Maybe I should do that now. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But let's just set the, the rest of the measurements down. Uh, so my next real measurement would be the center of that curvature there. But I also need to cut a seed on this side and a seed on that side. But what I want to do is I just want to do the rounding first. And I'm seeing everything is going extremely jittery, and I've got no idea why. Why am I all of a sudden dropping frame rates? Yeah, okay. All right, so well, I don't know what happened there. Uh, okay, so I need to flip that around, man. I need to flip that around. So I think what we're going to do is cut those two seeds, and then run. Yeah, okay, so we're taking this soak up, getting this one back in there. Yeah, but I need to flip the cutter around. Oh, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Yeah, let's quickly just turn that blade. Damn, this thing is hectic. Let's just quick, quickly, quickly, quickly turn that blade. Don't know why the hell this one at the back is turned down all the way. I think that might be half my problem with that chatter. Like I said, though I don't even pretend to know what the hell I do, to know what I do in any case. Yeah. I'm looking at this thing, and it looks like that tip was chipped. Mmm. Well, let's screw it up completely before we go and fix it, yeah. All right. So, let's do this again. Is that locked in? Yeah. The eyes down here. Half a cutter. Cut that down to a uh, thickness that I'm kind of happy with, which is about there. Let's call it a 3.8, yeah? Or maybe even a 4. Let's go down to a 4. To the side, half a cutter. A bit more. A bit more, yeah. 